Okay, this is all okay. And this is not a spring chicken. Today we're going to share with you our holiday buying guide. Now this, these are the editor's picks. Our picks. <laughs> we, we can be quite picky. So what we have here, there's a lot of tech toys in here, aren't there? Yeah, and some of this stuff we actually paid for <laughs> ourselves, so we do have an idea of what they are. Mm -hmm. But um, what consumer electronics are hot for Christmas? Um, they make great gifts for the holidays for uh, the, for both men, women, and children. And we can tell you from the uh, from the CEA, it's mostly personal. The big deal to buying gifts for yourself this year. Mm -hmm. So. Um, they just caught on. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Women have been doing that for years. <laughs> I know. They, they said, which most people know, you know, the prices of many of the consumer electronics have been falling. Um, uh, is it one of the, well, actually, uh, they got a whole lot of fast growing fields uh, smartphones, uh, portable computers, flat screen TV sets, games, and we're going to give you uh, a little bit of, uh, we're basically going to kind of divide it up and stuff. We're going to have, her, her stuff over here, which is all the technical stuff, and then I have the toys. I have the toys on my side. I don't play with the toys. The only thing I actually mm -hmm. don't have is toys. Well, there's some things. Actually, we're going to, it's going to be separate, which is, we're talking about what we think are, these are our editor's picks. We'll also do separately what we think are the hot, the hot categories. Yeah. Okay. One of the hot categories, of course, are tablets this year. Yeah. Last year at um, the Consumer Electronics Show, as they said, they stopped counting when they reached 150 tablets being introduced. Yeah, and then the fact is the whole tablet system got screwed when when uh, HP dumped their mark, dumped their things on the market, and then somebody decided that they found out that they could put it, they could use an app and make it uh, work for all the other Android uh -huh. things. So now HP is hurrying to get their back on the market again. But what are we leading off your list with? Oh, we're already on my list. Yeah. Oh, okay. I already did our opening. Okay. So the first thing we're going to talk about is th because this one's really cool. I'm going to can we move that one over? Only because this, know, this well, thing is huge. I know hers is big, mine is little. <laughs> okay. Hers weighs a ton. Actually, this one is soon going to become mine because see, this is on our list, folks. This one. Actually, it is. This is one as you, as you can see, we bought this on our bought this on our own. But we like this one so much, we want to buy a second one. There is a difference, as you can I mean, you can see. There is a difference there. <laughs> So, this is got off a huge thing, which she doesn't look, I mean. This is a Toshiba satellite. It's a Harman Kardon speakers. Um, but the coolest part about this satellite is you can watch 3D movies. It's got a 3D Blu-ray player on it, folks. Yeah, so. You can see it without having to have glasses on. Yeah. This one I love, too, but it is huge. This is meant, this is a laptop, 17-inch. If this is an HP Pavilion, the entertainment one, um, if... If you're going to be sitting there at a desk, it's great, but it, otherwise it's really kind of heavy. Although yeah. it does have Beats Audio, which yeah. is not bad. And it does cool. have a graphics card. Mm -hmm. Basically, what. Um, and we do have this set up for 8 gigabytes of. Yeah, yeah. it does. It's the biggest. It's, it's got two more gigabytes than this little one does. But, but, uh, oh. My first thing, this is one of my favorite things. We saw this actually for the first time at the Orange County Auto Show. Yeah. And I really like this one. And we also saw it at SEMA. I call it the boss key. And it is, oh, yeah, it's a boss key. But this key goes to a Ford Boss Mustang. Yeah. And it's quite the boss because the key allows you to go from which mode to which it, mode? It goes from street mode to, to racing mode with that key. Yes. So it's basically you want that key. <laughs> <laughs> So you, know. you get the key, you have the car. And we're hoping maybe we can, we can dig up some more info on it at the LA Auto Show next week. Yeah. Because we can talk to the Ford people some more on that key. So for this information, of course, go to Ford's website. Look up, um, you know, look at the Boss Mustang. And yeah. they'll have all about all the information Which about it. Which is basically, it. It's, a, it's an old-fashioned street rod that looks like you can drive it on the street without getting into trouble. Yeah. But that, you can get it on. That one is... They said, don't use this on the street. Ah. Yeah. Okay, we're going to move these other ones down here. Um, next thing, we're going to pick up this category because it seems like everybody needs a headphone and an earbud. Yeah. Everybody. Oh God, we've got so many. I mean, I mean, okay, uh, actually, I can guarantee you there is at least several sets of earphones sitting over on a table or on the other side of the cameras and the people. And there's earbuds sitting in my thing. I, I put 
earbuds on for editing. I also have earphones for editing, but it depends. I have noise canceling ear. If, I, if it gets lots of noise, I put the noise canceling earphones on. And it really, we actually tried out earphones last year at CES. We uh, we put the earphones on in the hallway and it shut out all the sound. Everything was around me. So. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, those are the Audio Technica ones. Yeah. Those are actually noise canceling headphones, and they actually have a case with them. Yeah. And with those, they're meant for you to be traveling and going on the airplanes. Yeah. Noise canceling, or you could just enjoy them in your home. But they are wireless. Yeah. Yeah, they are wireless, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah they, they Bluetooth is what it is. Okay. Um, so we're going to get to some more headphones too, because there's more than just that. Next one is on Skull Candy has some fixed in earbuds. Now I love these. It's a proprietary in-ear speaker, but what they do is a lot of them fall out of your ears. Actually, that's one of the latest yeah. categories for earbuds, isn't it? Yeah. Or the earbuds that stay in your ear. Yeah, we've seen that basically uh, they're starting to get it into their heads that people have a problem because not all ears are built the same. Mm -hmm. So they're designing things so that you can basically keep them. The, the best one form of this is if you can get a company that will make you an earbud, uh, make you a cover to fit your earbud mm -hmm. that will be made for your ears. We've been lucky enough to, to see that happen. But, uh, you know, so that one's by the fix. There's another one. These are skunk juice earbuds. And the reason I like these, yes, they are called skunk juice, is you'll have an earbud, yeah. I have an earbud, yeah. right? Oh, wait a minute. Because, you know, usually when you share earbuds, you have one set of earbuds, you listen to one and I listen to the other. Yeah. This one allows you to, to each have your own earbuds yeah. and to connect at the base and to share the same music. Yeah. It and it can sense. be more than just one or two people. That's because they said uh, in a lot of situations you can't turn the sound on. You have to listen because I, I, I'll edit in my apartment real late at, the, uh, late at night. See, I actually, I do have monster I do have monster earbuds too, folks, because they, they certainly like, carried them when I met the Ed Martin last time. So yeah. Because he wasn't down. But no, but we also have um, we also have the Auto Technica, which is on this list. Uh huh. Which are very good, but. Um, well, those are the ones that we were just talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Um, one of the ones is people have these earbuds, and you spend a small fortune on them. <laughs> Yeah. But you don't, and you want some good earbuds for you, but you may not necessarily want to spend a lot for your kids. Yeah. And Kids Gear has wireless car headphones for kids. Yeah, uh, and which is really good because um, uh, kids are, okay, here's the trick is, kids are now underneath the adult now on the buy for Christmas list, mm -hmm. which is sort of funny. Generally, kids are at the top. Now it's basically personal items because they have, uh, Probably because the kids' stuff is, the, the, the kids want too much stuff, and the adults basically will only get what they can think they can pay for. It. Oh, is that what it is? I think that's what it is. Not that they can pay for it, but what they think they can pay for. It. Oh, you know, my niece, it's like I know she bought things for her dad that she wanted. Yeah, oh, I know that. <laughs> no, we can tell you, we went to one of these things a few years ago, and uh, the host of the show, host of the, the conference said, you know, why did he buy this device? Well, because so I could watch Blu-ray movies <laughs> and say it was for my kid. So yeah, he bought a PS, he bought a PS player for the 3D, for the, because he didn't want to spend $400 for a Blu-ray, so I bought the game and said, I did it for my kid. Yeah, like everybody in the place knew it was for his kid. Yeah. 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 The kid never saw it. In the headphone category, there's a slew of other ones. <laughs> yeah. Sennheiser, um, actually Sennheiser has the ones, um, the earbuds that you can actually almost swim in the water with them. They did yeah. a collaboration with Adidas. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, let's see. We're, next category we have, and you're, if you're going, well, we don't, we're not writing all of these stuff. No. We're giving you the company names. We're giving you the overview. Mm -hmm. We're going to let you pick out the details. But these are our editor's picks. We're yeah. also going to be writing about they're these. Gonna be, there'll be an article written on Yahoo about this, and there'll be another more extensive one on our site with pictures and stuff. Mm -hmm. So but it's just us, ours, because in most cases we have actually had our hands. We either directly own it, or have had our hands on virtually everything that you see on this list. Yeah, this one for digital imaging we absolutely love. Yeah, this is the Panasonic HDCZ ten thousand. Yeah, and it's because. In fact, we're filming this right now on a Panasonic 3D camera, a Panasonic video camera. Three, okay, here's a trick, folks. 
not all 3D cam, not all prosumer 3D cameras are made the same. This, the this that is the three most camera that we're filming on, and the new Panasonic is the three most. What do you mean by three most? Which means it, it basically is broadcast quality. It's got mm -hmm. three chips in it instead of two or mm -hmm. one. A lot of the cameras today only have one chip in it, which means it's uh, the quality is iffy, which is basically hurts your own business trying to sell it. Mm -hmm. But we do, we, we've used uh, Panasonic for over a year and we're getting ready to purchase. So we can actually guarantee we're getting ready to purchase the brand new uh, Z1 uh, 10,000. Z10,000. Yeah, we're getting ready to purchase that one. So. The difference is this one, this one, okay. Allows you to zoom. This allows you to, okay, I tell people, how do you tell a, a true 3D camera from a 3D camera? is that you can't zoom on a true 3D camera. Well, the problem is, is that we've also tied. She wasn't there when I was talking to a gentleman from Canada, and he said, I can take any 3D camera that they make and make it a zoom camera. It's a software thing. Mm -hmm. So what they've done is they've changed the software, and it also bounces up from, uh, we have a 16 gigabyte memory, and their new one has a 32 capability, which is really good because we, we, we did yesterday, we did two days ago, we ran out of it. <laughs> we, we, we totally ran out of the stuff on the camera we were talking. Uh-huh, yeah. And we do have a chip that is bigger than actually specified for the camera to begin with. And we still ran out. But next one, though, this one just is another jewel in the crown. Yeah, we particularly love this one. We, we bought this last year. This is the newest model. And it's the Sony NEX7. Last year was the NEX5, which was their top of the line. Yeah. We yeah. bought the three and then replaced it with the five because we. The, now we want the seven. No, we want the seven, which we're trying to figure out how to get that one because there's a. Okay, it's. It, a, it's a compact digital SLR, so it's a small. It's 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 size like a point and shoot. Yeah, but and then it, you have have an interchangeable yeah, lens. Yeah, it is, but it's also an adjustable focus lens because most people. Okay, we talked to people at SEMA last week, and it, it's a point and shoot. Well, no, it's an old-fashioned just the lens. Mm -hmm. You pick it, you can make, you can unfocus it, focus it, zoom it in and out. It zooms in, it's a manual zoom. It's just an old Or you can do it automatic. I can do it, but it's an old-fashioned camera, and they don't, nobody, well, what is that? <laughs> well, well, you know, we. I like to take it into places because, especially with the flat pancake yeah. lens on there, it's like I can get professional-looking pictures, yeah. right? With something that looks like a little punch. Because people are like, your pictures look so much better. Yeah. Right? And, and I can guarantee you, with a little bit of playing with the camera, I have shot as many as 2,000 pictures in a row on it. Mm -hmm. I have shot the pitch, so many pictures that it turned the camera hot mm -hmm. and it burnt my hand. It's basically, uh, the way it can be set up, you can, as long as you push your finger down on the trigger, it will continue to shoot. But you got there's things you need a full you know, need a fast chip and you need a fully charged battery and that uh, and some playing with the system, which yeah. can be done. I mean we we had a guy from we, we definitely had an engineer tell us how you could do that. I know I, I you know I wish we could like show you all of these things and talk about them. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have them all. Yeah, uh, we actually we lost the battery. We, 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 actually, there's your excuse to go get the brand new camera. We lost the bat. We lost the charger for the other one. Oh. So we need a new charger. So eight hundred dollars for a brand no, new. No, that was the old one. The new camera's like thirteen hundred dollars. Oh. Yeah, we don't need all the lenses though. We got the lenses with. Oh well, excuse me. Body only is twelve hundred dollars. Oh. Well, yeah. That's too god awful expensive. We won't get that one for a while. Mm hmm. Guess what's not on my shopping list for a while? <laughs> you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna well, get that one. You for know, a there while. are, there are things in all different categories. These are editors pick some like we really would like. No, but at, eight, um, at eight hundred dollars, we would at eight hundred. We say, well, I, you know, I lost the charger for it. It's gonna cost me X amount of money for the charger. Well, let's just go buy a new camera anyway and see how the charger works. Nah, twelve hundred dollars for know, the body. Not, not for twelve hundred. It's just out of our. Our budget because I, I, I've got a thirteen hundred dollar video camera right above it. So. <laughs> Next is this is one you might have seen before. It's the GoPro HD camera. Oh, everybody! I mean, those things are the rage because you put them. Everybody, I mean, you put them on your helmet, you put them on your dog. That we haven't put it on the dog yet, but we're, we're, we're seriously thinking about Monte Cam. The little tiny things that basically give you high def. And if you basically hook two of them in a harness together, you can have a 3D video. I've actually been really surprised at the quality of it. Yeah, it's a good little high-def piece. We were there 
when you would not believe the amount of people that basically they were selling these things so fast on the floor that they made them leave the floor of the of the show and go to a to another area. In the area where they had the the store for what was it CES or yeah, NAB? the NAB store and. Yeah. As soon as they were taking them out of the box, actually, they didn't even couldn't even put them on the shelves, right? And there was a whole line. They were buying, they were buying the boxes. I mean, we're talking boxes of these things because they, they were pointing out, okay, they were hung up on the one-man band process at that C, at NAB, which basically one man became everything. And with that stuff, well, we've actually seen it work. We've seen it over at um, we've seen it over at the LA Auto Show last year, where the guy had. At the end of a rod, a GoPro camera holding it and making it look like, okay, now will you move the camera to the left, please? Yeah. Okay, now we've done. It. Okay, now we'll start. Yeah. You know, and people are they're looking at the guy. Uh, oh, uh -huh. There's something wrong with that person. No, he did. He was. Uh, uh, what happens is a lot of times well, we've seen it happen where the reporter will show up and the camera crew goes elsewhere. Mm -hmm. So what happens is you got we have an extending rod. You stick a small camera like a GoPro on the end of it. Good evening, this is Joe Blow with the Evening News. We're coming to you live from the LA Auto Show. Oh, you know, the gentleman, when I'll move the camera to the right, I'll walk alongside you. And you saw him doing <laughs> we're that. We're and we're seeing the other news people up there. Well, what the hell is that? Well, that's how this works. You can basically become your own man, one man band with your own little footwork. We're really work good, so. Yeah. So that one's, the, the next one is, I like this one, it's the Vivitar's waterproof camera. Now this one is priced for mass consumption, yeah. but it's just a little camera. It's like the size of a flip It's waterproof. She's actually took it out in the water. The water I mean, it. literally, like I dumped it in she the ocean. Then, well, then what happened was I got, because she really doesn't get too far in the water, I got, I, I went out in the water with it then because I'm not, I, I don't, when I get wet, it doesn't bother me. But uh, no, I can guarantee you, the only problem I have with this camera is there's no god darn instructions for that thing. Um, we have not, we will sit there, we'll did get I, Did I have them and not give them to you? Problem. <laughs> we have a problem, I mean it really does good work. And the thing is, well, as long as you remember to snap it, the thing shut, it's It also does give you some different options. Yeah. For, for example, if it's the bright sun or landscape. It's got a lot of things. There are some well, options We have a problem it. trying to get it into one mode or the other mode. It's not because it doesn't work, because it does work. We get it working. We sit there, we look and we figure, okay, how do we get this? It's just like, well, if you had a 10-year-old, a 10-year-old could do it like that. But we're not talking. We don't have a 10-year-old. So we're sitting there having, you know, intense discussions. Well, I just had it working. We just shot a video. How do we get the video up that we just shot? Uh, and then we find out, oh, we never turned the thing off. That's why it's not coming up. <laughs> That's called, you know. So it's it's a toy that does have it work. You can play, you can go play with it in the water, not worry about it, and you can. It basically it 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 is very forgiving for stupid things like turning the thing off. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, <laughs> next, this is the SanDisk Memory Vault. This is in digital imaging because it's a new digital storage device that allows you to preserve images for up to a hundred years. Can you believe that one? That's, that's um, okay. Uh, we talk to the people. Uh, 